Welcome to episode four of the bulking series. Currently, see about 18 days on the bulk now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've never done a bulk before. I've just main gained in my whole life. My last competition, I was shredded, but I wasn't big enough on stage. I could not even compare to the other people that I was competing against. So my coach has me on my first official bulking diet, and this is going to be about a whole year until I compete again at that same competition. So, you know, it's currently October and I'll be competing next year in the summer sometime at my next national show to get my pro card. I'm trying to build as much as I can. I'm only weighing about 158 pounds. Never been over 160 before. But today we're hitting chest. I'm meeting up with Luan. Luan is from Brazil, I believe. In my opinion, I think he eventually will become an IFBB pro. He's never competed before, but he just got a coach and he's got a lot of potential. Today shouldn't be too bad at the gym. It's only, it's a Wednesday, so better than a Monday. So I think it'll be okay to film. So probably gonna see if I can get that, the tripod going maybe, um, and get the mic. So I'm trying to switch up the content. I think I'm gonna do more long form content, keep my videos longer. Cause usually my videos are only like 10 minutes, but you know, it seems like YouTube has gone, it's getting pretty popular to make the videos a lot longer. Just, and that's what YouTube is for, you know, like, it's different than Instagram. It's, you know, you just see a short video or a picture and you move on. But YouTube is definitely more personal. And I think it is extremely important to build a good audience on YouTube because subscribers get to know you more on a personal level on YouTube compared to Instagram or TikTok. So this video is probably gonna be much longer. Drinking my pre on the way over from Blue Star Nutraceuticals. I've been working with Blue Star for like ever since I started in <clears throat> with fitness. They like contacted me when I was only like 40,000 followers on Instagram. Now we're approaching half a million and I'm still working with them because they treat me so well. Their supplements are honestly like really good. Um, best pre workout I've ever had, honestly. I've tried so many pre-workouts like it's almost like a hobby of mine to to drink pre because I just really like to see like the effect it has and how you know how much it's going to improve my workouts. The only two supplements I think are actually effective are um, creatine and pre-workout. Protein you get plenty of protein from just a normal diet. If you're not getting enough protein then your diet probably is not as good as it should be. So. Really, just keep a balanced diet. You won't you won't need a protein supplement, and, and that's coming from me, who is sponsored. I'm sponsored by a protein by a supplement company, and I don't even recommend the protein from any company. But creatine, you know, it's the most studied supplement and the most effective when it comes to recovery and performance in the gym. So, like, definitely, it's worth that investment. I'm sure it'll just make supplements really don't make that big of a difference honestly it's like a huge question I get all the time like what what supplements do you take you know but if you're asking like what supplements I take and you're thinking that it's gonna make a big difference then you're definitely wrong because if it's not like PEDs supplements like uh, creatine and pre-workout they'll make maybe like a two or three percent difference out of a hundred the other 50% would be, that one half would be like, um, you know, your diet, and then the other half is the way you train and recovery and sleep. And then the supplements are literally like the last thing you should be concerned about. But I'm literally doing all those, you know, the, the most important things. And then once you get those things down, like your diet and your training, then the supplements will make a difference. Just barely enough to be, you know, noticeable. But if you don't have your diet in place, if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to training, you don't train smart, then there's no point in even taking these supplements in the first place. <clears throat> but yeah, creatine and pre-workout, because pre-workout really just helps with pumps in the gym. The bigger the pump, the more damage you're gonna do to the muscle in the best possible way. But we all know that, you know, you don't grow when you go to the gym, you break the muscle down and then you grow when you recover. So like, if there is another supplement I'd recommend, it would be like a sleep aid. Blue Star actually has a good one, it's called GH Peak. 
and I've been taking that for a while and it really just helps you get better sleep because that's when you release the most growth hormone is while you're sleeping, right? So if you can get the best sleep possible, at least eight hours a night, then that's going to completely change the way you recover and how good you feel in the gym. So that would be another one that I'd recommend. Everything else, like BCAs, you know, not necessary. BCAs, protein powder, you really don't need those because you get that from your diet. But creatine, you don't really get enough of. It, 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 it's in steak, so it's a natural supplement, but even if you eat a bunch of steak, still not getting enough creatine to make a difference. So it makes sense to supplement that. But yeah, next you're gonna see us in the gym. And I don't even really know what we're doing today actually for chest. It's just gonna be whatever, go with the flow. It is so crowded today, but we're gonna see if we can get some footage without offending anyone. <laughs> Luckily this gym doesn't have any like rules, written rules against photography and videography, but hopefully we don't make them have those rules, if that makes sense. So as long as no one's complaining, I think we're good. We're trying something new. I'm grabbing the pec deck here instead of the handle. I think it helps stretch a little better at the bottom. Yeah, he feels it. Oh yeah. Warming up with the 60s here. We're just gonna work our way up until we hit like a 10 rep max. Uh, Luan and I are similar in strength, so we got a little bit of friendly competition going on. Right? <laughs> but I literally forgot my headphones. They're charging at home right now. So we got a musicless workout today. <laughs> Last warm up set here with the 80s. Uh, for this whole workout, we're focusing more on slow on the way down. Little pause at the bottom, good stretch. Explode. Slow, at least three seconds down. Explode. Good stretch. Oh. Up, 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 up. <gasps> Easy. Come on. Push, push, push. Nice. See, you're from Brazil, right? Yeah. So I moved here nine years ago. I'm 21 now. So I moved here when I was 14. So, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You're 14. And yeah. how long have you been training? <laughs> two years and a half. That's insane, dude. I've been training a decade and we're like literally the same yeah, level. It's going to be three years now in February. Dang. A, yeah. Wow. And you're going to compete next year? Yeah, my, 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 I was talking to my coach and we, I think I might compete in March. March. There's a show in March, um, but we're not sure yet. So we'll see. Right. Just got to figure it out. Kind of playing it by ear. Yeah. Are you like bulking out right now, right? Yeah, I'm a, where am I at? 205. Uh, 205 right now. So. Crazy. See. All right. Top set. Got the hundreds. Oh, let's see if we can get 10 reps. Slow and controlled though. Oh. 
Oh, I got like seven. <laughs> yep. All right. Second set, hundreds again, and then third set we'll do lighter weight burnout. But forgot something. I had the chalk. Chalk adds approximately 10 pounds to your max. Not scientifically proven, but could be placebo as well. Easy, come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Up. Nice. Last one for fun. Last one for fun. Come on. Up. Up. Nice. Oh, oh it's so different going slow. All right, we're dropping down to the 80s for a third set. So we're dropping a little bit of weight, aiming for more reps. Burnout, AMRAP, whatever you want to call it. Right. Right away. Nice. Flies with cables with your upper chest. I like to do is like kind of turn my wrist towards like out. So right here, and then I start turning my wrist. That's so gonna give up better contraction on the upper chest. I'm just trying to feel all the stretch. No, I don't have to worry about the weight. And after that, I'm gonna put the sit one, just one. <coughs> I'm gonna grab the dumbbell and get the flies. Dumbbell flies. Why, you may ask? Because we wanna get all the parts of the upper chest, not just one, all the fibers. And with this, I like to turn the, the dumbbell kind of outside. And when I bring it up, I turn the dumbbell. And so just. <sighs> So you bring it kind of behind you, huh? But you don't have to bring it all the way up. You don't have to make him touch, right? Yeah. Pretty much right here. Yeah. A little bit closer. All right. Right there. Nice. Dude, these are the only, these are only the 25s and they are heavy. Yeah. Make sure you're rotating your wrist too. So I mean, we're like bring this. it out when you're going down and bring it in when you're going up. There we go. Oh. There we go. Yeah. That uh. twist right there on, on your wrist, it's gonna, that's what makes your upper uh. chest burn. So, <laughs> all right, go. We got, this is the one's idea. We got a yoga ball back here. And I think it's mostly just for the range of motion, right? You can, your shoulder blades can go further back. Yep. To allow for a better stretch. And what we're doing here is we're doing a set of 10 for flies. And once you finish 10 reps, you go immediately to a press. Dang, I like this yoga ball. This is good. I know, huh? <laughs> it like moves with your shoulder blades and allows them to like have better range of motion and stretch more. All right. Ugh. 
And when you're burnt out with these, go right to a press. There you go. Do a little bit of post workout posing for you guys. I need to practice anyway. Practice my men's physique poses. So again, right now I'm like 158 pounds and I'd say maybe around seven or 8% body fat. I mean, you guys can kind of just comment down below like what you think I am. Like, I don't really know exactly. I don't have any, never done any body fat measurements, but it's what I would guess is eyeballing it. But pretty sure once you see like good chest striations and everything, like you're sub 10%. Just got done with chest today. I usually only just do chest on its own, to be honest. Some people do chest and tries, but I think it's like a big enough muscle group to really just focus entirely on. I do the exact same thing for shoulders too. Dedicate an entire day just to train shoulders because they could take so much volume and intensity. So I'm actually starting to focus more on calves too, just because, I mean, I do men's physique, but I want to have more of a balanced physique. So. My calves, I just don't have the best calf genetics. I train my legs, you know, once, twice a week. But my calves just been lagging my entire life. Going to actually train my calves two to three times a week. And I'm going to do that before my workout. So I'm going to do calves before I even start my workout. For example, if I do a chest workout, I'm going to do like three or four, um, two, two or three different calf exercises with at least three or four sets and just absolutely demolish them and right when they recover train them again and that will be my strategy anyway my camera's having a hard time focusing but if you guys made it to this point remember to like and subscribe I'm going to be doing a lot more of this type of content just uh, kind of filming uh, throughout my day not really ed editing too much just kind of showing you guys the real deal so uh, subscribe for more make sure you comment let me know what you think of the video and we'll see you next time